Hello everyone. So in today's video, I will show you how to extract bibliographic data from a Scoopus database. So in, in one of our previous videos, I have already shown how to extract data from ISI Web Science. And as you know, Scoopus and ISI Web Science, these are the two most renowned databases for academic uh, articles and like those which we use for bibliometric analysis and literature reviews. Okay, so let's start with the data extraction from Scopus. So first I come to Google and I will Google for Scopus. And here I go. I go, yeah, as you see, you can, you can learn more about Scopus from here, from the Wikipedia website, but that's not what I'm going to do now. So I'll just go directly to Scopus. And yeah, it, it, it should look like this. And here you see I have access by my university. You can have different kind of access. Mostly it would be by your university or like I also have access from Elsevier because Scopus is by Elsevier and I review articles published, uh, I review articles for Elsevier journals. So they also give me free access to Scopus for time to time. So anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's see. Yeah. So you can search for documents, authors, affiliations and yeah, there's advanced, advanced search. Yeah, but I, I would like to show how to search for documents because that's what is my interest now. So here you can see an example, right? Okay, let's see what happens if we search with the example. So here we have cognitive architectures and robots. So this means that we'll get articles which have cognitive cognitive architecture, the full this term as a full term, and then robots. These two in the title, abstract, and keywords of any articles that is listed in Scopus. You can also refine the search here by by like article title only, only the source title you would look to search in. You can search in only in the abstract or keywords, but for now I'll go for this all of these article abstract and keywords. So I will do the search. And so here you see I get like 479 articles. Here they they yeah they 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 it covers many many years. You can see the years list of years, you can see all the years, author names, top authors by number of publications. Then document type. So yeah, you can see a lot of information here. But this was the example that I that yeah, it was an example suggested by Scoopus itself, as you see. But for now, maybe I would like to see something with supply chain, which is my field of research actually. So let's say I'd like to see the research which are which kind of uh, in the nexus between supply chain and marketing. So let's go. Uh, yeah, I will. I will. Yeah, supply chain management. So I, I will. I will search for supply chain management and marketing. So this means that both these terms has to be together in the title, abstract, or keywords of the articles, and then I will get only those articles. And here I can also limit to different. Like I can limit to years, publish publications in the last seven days. I can also limit to document types. But we'll do this later. But let's just go with with this supply chain management and marketing, and uh, it will search for uh, search in title, abstract, and keywords of all the articles. So we do the search, and we get about seventeen hundred and fifteen articles. Okay, that's great. But you know what? Sometimes people write this supply chain word differently. Like some some write like this, and some write only supply chain like with the space in between. So let's say we would like to capture both of them. Then we will add both of them, and in between we'll add an R, and we'll make a bracket for this. So supply chain or supply chain. So we'll get both of them now, and we want the management part as well. So maybe we don't really need the quotation here because management is a single word. So yeah, it's fine without quotation. When you have more than two words and you want to have them as a keyword, as a single word, counted as a single word, then you should put quotation. And so what we want is that we want to have this as one term, supply chain or supply chain and management. So which will make supply chain management. And we also want marketing. So we can actually also keep the marketing out of the code. So normally we should get more articles now because there could have some articles with there, there might have some articles which had this term as supply chain with a hyphen in between. 
which were not counted before but will be counted now. So let's search and see if we get more than 1700. Of course we get more than 1700 now. We get now 2700. So this is how you can actually define your search criteria as you see. You can add different terms and you, you can play with the brackets and quotations and yeah you will get you will get different different number of articles and the more you con constrain the more you will uh, you will get lesser number of articles and the more broader you will make it you will get more number of articles so let's let's go with this let's uh, let's limit uh, maybe you know when you are trying to do a literature review you would like to study maybe the last 20 years not more than that because the old very old studies they might not be relevant for your field so far at the moment you know like uh, at the moment which are very old from 1960s could be relevant but not very likely so i will i will i will limit this to let's say 1998 last 20 years or let's say 1995 to make it round yeah 1995 to present and yeah all type of access and all articles and i'll do the search So it reduced a little bit, not not much, a little bit. So this means that most of the articles which were focused on the nexus between supply chain and marketing were published from 1995 afterwards. And so this is how it looks, and we can do some more refines, you know. So first of all, yeah, you, you can see the number of articles published in each year. Uh, yeah, I would like to refine to only articles. I mean, you can also consider conference papers, reviews, and other short surveys, but I'm not really interested in those. So I will, I will limit to only articles. So we will get now 1,540 articles out of 2,700. So let's limit limit to. So you have two options. You can limit or exclude, but I'm going to limit to this. So now, as you see, I have 1,540 articles. But now... I would like to limit to a few more things. First of all, I would go for language. As you see, there are some published articles in other language, but I do not really understand Chinese or Japanese. I, I understand only English. So I'll limit to English only and we'll get now 1455 articles. As you see, we have now 1455. So here are a few more criteria. So you can, you can, like limit by source title keywords country territory so you want to maybe study only articles published by united states but i i actually don't want to do that i want to cover all countries you know and then you may also would like to look at like source journals conference proceedings and those ones so i'm actually interested in only journals so i'll, I'll select journals and we'll get yeah to 1311 11 articles now so I limit to that. I get 1311 articles. And I assume that this is good to go for analysis. So as you see that you can actually refine with keywords in different terms. Based on your research field you have to do that. And you have to study some published literature reviews in your field to see, to find out the possible keyword keywords which you could use to find your target your 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 target uh publication published articles which you would like to consider for literature reviews. So I'm actually happy at the moment with this 1311. I would like to ex export extract the data, all the data about these articles from this database. So for that I'll go for uh first I have to select it. So I'm gonna select all of it. Then I will go to export. As you see, you have different options here, right? And Normally, for bibliometric analysis and softwares, you would use CSV or bib text or plain text. And I suggest you that you actually download all formats, like all these three formats, in the first time, so that you can use them in EndNote. You can use them in bibliometric analysis softwares. So I will actually do all of them. And here also you have to check a few things. You, yeah, we want citation information. We also want bibliography information. And I actually always try to take as much as information as possible. So I would also go for abstracts and keywording. So along with this, we have to also include this, include references. Because when we'll be doing this bibliometric analysis, 
these references are actually a key part of bibliometric analysis so we have to have these references okay so yeah so first let's do with RIS format export so as you see it's downloading here so now the uh, download is done so I will open it so here is my RIS format but I will also download in other formats as CSV and plain text because you know like different softwares they, they require different formats so I will keep them all so that I can use whenever what, which format is required so I'll go to export again now I'll go for CSV yeah the same things and I'll go for export I have also extracted the CSV format. Now we'll go for bib text and plain text. So now the last version, I'll go for this plain text also. So now it comes like this, but yeah, I'll just click and I'll see if I can save it save as I see export.txt and I selected the prepared folder for this and I'm just gonna save it it's taking some time so finally I have saved this uh, the data I was extracting in this four format txt bib csv and ris so I can really I can now use them in any software I want based on the different software requirements and one interesting thing I would like to show you is that if you go back here then you can actually see the search you have made that the modifications you have done throughout and how the number of documents changed you know so as you see here like the more specific we got the number of articles reduced but that's fine because we want to be specific when we are doing a literature review we want to do on a specific topic or a specific research theme you know so that's fine so yeah you can see click and view more but yeah that's okay so now you get how we do it so in some of the next videos I will show some analysis using boss viewer and R using this data set thank you for watching so if you find it useful like the video comment if you have something to say or ask for share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel